with hits such as Vision of Love and We Belong Together. Singer Mariah Carey holds the record for most number one songs by a solo artist in Billboard Hot 100 History. Mariah Carey was born March 27, 1969, in Huntington, New York, on Long Island to Alfred Roy Carey, a Venezuelan aeronautical engineer, and Patricia Carey, a voice coach and opera singer. Alfred and Patricia divorced when Mariah was three years old. Her parents had three kids together before their split, and Mariah is the youngest. She has an older brother named Morgan, and her older sister was Allison. Allison died in August 2024, on the same day that Mariah's mother died. Her father died in 2002. Young Mariah stunned her mother by imitating Patricia's operatic singing as early as age. Two, she began singing lessons at age four. Eventually, Mariah developed a voice that spanned five octaves. Few singers have achieved this vocal feat. David Lee Roth and Ema Sumac are among the handful of people to have done so. After graduating in 1987 from Harborfields High School in Greenlawn, New York, Mariah moved to Manhattan. There, she worked as a waiter and a coat check attendant and studied cosmetology while writing songs and actively pursuing a music career at night. When she was 18 years old, Carrie attended a CBS Records party with Brenda K. Starr, who Carrie had started singing back up for in concerts. Starr convinced Carrie to bring along one of her demo tapes. She intended to give the tape to Columbia's Jerry Greenberg, but Tommy Motola, the president of Columbia Records later Sony, intercepted it before she could hand it to Greenberg. After listening to the tape on the way home from the party, Motola signed Carrie immediately. The 55-year-old singer confirmed in an August 26 statement that both her mother, Patricia, and her sister, Allison, recently died on the same day. Pat was 87 years old, and Allison was 63. The five-time Grammy winner had a complex relationship with her mom. Additionally, Mariah was estranged from her sister. Allison sued the We Belong Together singer for intentionally causing her emotional distress over the contents of the book. The lawsuit was unresolved when Allison died. Currently single, Carrie has been married twice and has two kids. In June 1993, the singer married music executive Tommy Motola in a spectacular ceremony at Manhattan's Steady Thomas Episcopal Church. Their relationship began professionally in the late 1,980 seconds. Motola, then the president of Columbia Records, listened to Carrie's demo tape and quickly signed her to the label. By 1991, they had begun dating despite their 20-year age gap. Carrie was 24 and Motola 43 when they tied the knot. The marriage was an unhappy one for Carrie, who has since described Motola as controlling and compared the marriage to prison. Carrie's second husband was rapper and actor Nick Cannon, who is 10 years younger than she. Soon after, Carrie became pregnant and eventually got divorced from Nick.